Most doctors, uh, not all, but most doctors treat diseases. And you know, if you take diabetes as an example, most people will have increased blood sugar levels the older they get. And that's actually a, a very good sign of aging and how long they will live. But if you were to go to a, a typical doctor in most Western countries, they would say, well, you need to pass a certain threshold to be a diabetic and only when you have a disease, I will treat you. You know, go home and don't eat so many potato chips and get off the couch, but I'm not gonna help you with the medicine until you actually have a disease. We know that a drug like metformin, which is, as far as drugs go, relatively safe, will delay type two diabetes if you prescribe it earlier. It's a very cheap drug, as drugs go. Um, and so I, I'm encouraging people, doctors, to think about prescribing metformin before diabetes actually occurs. And it's a lot easier to prevent a disease than to try to reverse it. Scientifically, I'll tell you what I think and why I chose to. And that is that uh, I looked at the data in, let's start with, with animal studies. It's not always the best, but with animal studies, I was on a paper with Rafa de Cabo down at NIH, the National Institutes of Health. And we showed that metformin delays many diseases in those animals and they, they do live uh, slightly longer. That's good, it's obviously not doing them a lot of harm. And then when I looked at the literature of other people who do, did studies on, one study was over 10,000 patients, veterans that took metformin. Others, um, now 100,000 plus patients who have taken metformin. When they look at the risk factors and the, at the, actually the incidence of diseases of aging, not just diabetes, but other diseases, cancer, heart disease, frailty, Alzheimer's, their chance of getting those diseases went down as well, which is what you'd expect from a true longevity or what some would call an anti-aging drug. And here's the striking thing. Those patients were healthier having diabetes than people who didn't have diabetes. And that's remarkable. So what does that mean for people who don't yet have diabetes? I think it should be even more effective than those people who have been studied. Now, the other thing is uh, I'm doing a risk reward ratio always with, with myself. What's the risk of not doing anything? Pretty high, right? I know what I'm gonna be doing 20 years from now. It's not gonna be fun. I'm 50, I'll be 70 in 20 years. And, but what's the risk of taking metformin? Well, it does have side effects that can be severe, but for most people, the most you'll experience is an upset stomach, which I'm prepared to tolerate and mitigate with the benefit of potentially having a much healthier older age. لكل من لا يستطيع شراء مكملات مكافحة الشيخوخة مثل الأنمان والرسفيراتور بسبب ثمنها المرتفع فدواء المتفورمين رخيص جدا ويمكن لمعظم الناس شراؤه من الصيدلية لذلك إذا كنت لا تستطيع شراء مكملات مكافحة الشيخوخة بأكملها يمكنك على الأقل البدء بالمتفورمين لكن لا ينبغي تناول هذا الدواء لكل من يعاني من أمراض الكلى أو نقص في الفيتامين باء 12 الدكتور ديفيد سينكلير يتناول 850 ملغرام يوميا من هذا الدواء قبل النوم لكن لا تنسى الاستشارة مع طبيبك قبل القيام بأي شيء أراكم في الفيديو المقبل